All right, back to back to back losses. I'm uh, probably looking at another one here against the Kansas City Chiefs this week. And then next week, we could take on the Commanders and then right back into Kansas City. Uh, we do have a linebacker breakup. We'll go over that last. Go over the storyline here. All right, we need to shift our focus for the Chiefs. Uh, what do we find on through film study? Film study. I'm too tired to read this. Their running back sucks. That's what I read. Uh, let's see here. Defensive ends need to tackle better. All right, defensive ends will receive a five boost to tackle, minus five to finesse moves. Uh, scout focus players. Uh, so we take a look here. Looks so like DeMarco Brooks is projected to go in the top five and is a top five player. Would be nice to add him to the team. Doubt we're going to get a top five pick, but who knows. Uh, Patrick McFadden also looks good on the opposite end. So does Sean Tyson. Um, I did... <coughs> Add a couple favorites here just to kind of go over them on who we should probably take. Um, I think our biggest weakness right now is um, defensive tackle. Uh, we got Bobby Brown and Tomlinson back there. So I think getting some youth up there would really help. We're also kind of struggling in depth for receiver. Saxon really... It's the only one that looks good. Um, the rest of them are, you know, two to three guys and then day three guys. So we'll see what happens with um, our first pick that comes up and who's gone and who we got to go for. Yeah, so I'm thinking we're going to go. They updated this, so it's why. To select, I think we're gonna go both of the D tackles here, and then uh, the linebacker situation. We're good on right outside linebacker because we got JOK. Other end, we got Baron Browning, who I don't know. I mean, he's probably got like another year or two of progressions. And then he's just going to start regressing. But he's only a 75 or something like that. So I think if we get like a one or two young guys behind him, that might help. Uh, we do also need a left tackle, of course, according to our team needs in the top right there. But there's no good left tackles in this draft. The best one's a day three guy, so... Um, there is a right tackle, uh, Julian Reed, we could transition over to left tackle or our current right tackle can go over there. Whoever that is, I kind of forgot. Um, but yeah, I think, I think we'll go. Julian Reed here. Just to uh, get that offensive line a little bit better. The, I'm just going to go through and remove these favorite players just so that when the mock draft comes out, we can kind of see the order it's supposed to go in and then you know, after the last one, I'll go through and add some favorites in there. And it's going to be the best way of doing it, but... Linebacker breakout. Baron Browning again. Looking to finally get him. Um... I guess we'll go easy goal. Get Baron Browning three tackles for loss. 
to upgrade his dev trade, so super easy. I mean, we haven't been able to do that any other week that we've had a dev trade upgrade for him. So, I mean, if we can get him past star before the end of the year, we might just keep him and keep upgrading him. But other than that, I don't, I don't know if I want him after this year if he's not a superstar by then. I mean, we've had, what, four chances now? three chances and this is our fourth chance to get him up to superstar if we can't get him after this it's just i'm just planning on shipping him out after during the off season but we'll see what happens mahomes getting his receivers out we are going to have to adjust our dbs by speed here I forgot to change our offensive scheme or our playbook back to the Broncos, so. Still running with the Packers and Pacheco getting a nice run for 17 yards to start us off here. Get pretty much exactly what Damian Pierce did to us last week. I'm going to give it right back to Pacheco. Gain of three. <coughs> Wiley in motion. This one, in between all the defenders to Kelsey. Bodies over Brandon Jones. Taken down by Lewis Seen. I think I'm going to want to be in zone for the most part here. Kelsey in motion. Another pass down to Kelsey. Taking him out at the legs. Picks up the first up to the nine yard line. Got a sneeze. Right, passing complete there to Pacheco. Of course, hit as he threw. I know I said I wanted to stay in zone, but maybe I want to stay in man. I don't know. Lucine coming down, laying a big hit on Pacheco there. We are also going to need to draft safeties in this draft. We are lacking really hard on safeties. We got Brandon Jones and Lucine. This one caught by Rasheed Rice. For the touchdown, is either going there or the slot receiver there. Chiefs will take an early lead, 7-0. Bo Nix coming out. Nothing going there for Dennis Hayden. Poe Nix getting sacked by George Karlofkis. Oh man, what are we to do? Get that one out to Lamont Rhodes, has some space. I thought we were tackled, so I stopped. Take it down at the 38. Beautiful pass to Rhodes there. Yeah, I did change our slot receivers. Um, instead of Mark Burr. Uh, being the top guy there, it's going to go Lamont Rhodes, then... Um... Whatever other rookie we have, and then Ben Rice. I forgot who the other guy in there is. I believe that was Nick Bolton. I 
Randolph's kick is good. Seven to three. Check out the deficit down by four. She Rice leading the league in receiving touchdowns at 12. That's it. Amari Cooper was in Minnesota. Interesting. All right. Pass broken up by Adams Drain there. 10 to 4, Hollywood Brown. Just got to try and keep pressure on Mahomes today. Sir Tamlin, a big hit on Worthy. Third and nine coming up. He's on Kelsey's route, but he's going to dump it down to Ross. John Ross. He's still in the league. This one down to Rasheed Rice. I got nothing. I got nothing. Picking up a first. Passed right into my arms. Tended for Hollywood, but broken up. <laughs> Overthrow. Tended for rice there. Third and ten coming up at the 47. This one picked off by Sertan. Intended for Hollywood. Ben Rice making the stop. Thankfully, I was picked off. Yeah. Nothing going on the run. We're not going to be able to run today. I got a bad feeling. Dump this one down to Hayden. So, game making it third and six. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter. Seven to three. KC still up by four. <laughs> and you can see if Troy Franklin gets off the... It's a nice release. It's a matter because the pressure's there. Hit as we threw. Matt Areza with the punt. Thomas making a hit on Worthy. And Mahomes and company coming back out. What? Why switch stick on, dude? They said they fixed it. I literally turned it off in the settings. On the main menu screen, not even just in franchise, it still switches me. Sir Tam breaking up the pass for Hollywood. Swan up for Kelsey. Even strain there. Can't get the pass break up. Should have gone for the pass break up and not try to pick it. Kelsey over the middle with the catch and the touchdown. That'll put them up by 11.
Bo Nix, second in the league with passing yards at 30, 3,015. I was going to say 3015, but I felt like that didn't really make sense. And this one to Dulcich. Big catch and run there to the 47. Still in our own territory. So now for Lamont. Can't come down with it. Another one for Dulcich underneath. Gain a three. Aiden bouncing off a tackle. Getting a nice little first down. Across the 50 to 38. Might have already been across 50. Like half asleep right now, so. Sorry if my sentences don't make sense. Franklin going up thankfully not intercepted but just incomplete try another screen here to Hayden hopefully he can pick up the first again jukes it inside making a man miss and picking up the first three receptions 32 yards no touchdown so far through the air Coleman Coleman is the other rookie receiver that second in the slot. So a little low for Dulcich. Comes down with it. Taken down at the 10. Uh, elbow sprain for Franklin. We're going to... Meant to click keep him in, but I guess Marvin Mims is going to take over for him. Aiden on the handoff. Getting a gain of two. Nick's taken off. Taking it in himself for the touchdown. Oh, my cat just farted. Jesus Christ, that stinks. 10 to 14 is the score. Let's figure out. Bringing it back down to a four point deficit. Kelsey so far this year 62 receptions, 802 yards, and five touchdowns. He only needs nine more to uh, hit 100. For his career. Hopefully he doesn't get all nine of those against us. So. Cat's biting my controller wire. Definitely not what I need. Hollywood with the catch inside the red zone at the 19. Checo with the run. Down at the four. Now brings us to the two minute warning. Kansas City up 14 10. Probably going to score a touchdown here, make it 21 to 10. Pass the worthy good for the touchdown 21 to 10. Casey makes it an 11 point game again. All right, we got just under two minutes left here in the first half. Try and make it a four point game again before halftime. Dennis Hing can't hold on to that one. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. Third and ten. Throw that one up for Rhodes. Caught it in stride. And Rhodes is going to take that in for a touchdown. Beautiful. Lamont Rhodes. Might be his first touchdown of his career. No clue. Alright. Come on. You just like conservative tackle, bro. I mean, it's really me that's using the hit stick, but still. Kelsey with the catch for the first. 50 seconds left here. Everybody's teleporting on the field. I'd like if they didn't score before half. Dodson taking out Mahomes with the force. So hoping for a fumble. Right over the middle. That was my zone. Worthy with the catch. Almost wouldn't be mad if we held him to a field goal here. 10 seconds left. Somehow made that catch. All right. Second and five, seven seconds left. Screen pass. For Pacheco. Out of bounds at the seven. Two seconds left. Gonna come out Harrison Butker. Looking to make it a seven point game before half. And he does. 24-17 is your halftime score. We will get the ball back. See to defend the short pass against them. Harrell on the return. A little bit of space up to the 32. Almost had Rhodes and Stry going deep. Five rushes for his zero yards. Not good. Dulcich here. Gain of six. Screen pass out to Hayden. Real risky there, but we need a win. We're going for it. <laughs> Nothing. I didn't see anything I liked there. So enough for Marvin Mims. Looked like Reed was in the way, but they're not going to call that, of course. Or Trent McDuffie. 
Not read. As we threw, trying to get it out to Hayden. Fourth and 14 coming up. Yeah, we're just going to punt this with Reza here. I thought he stepped out, no? Nothing going for Pacheco. Lost a two there. Pass to Kelsey incomplete after the big hit from Brandon Jones. Third and 12 coming up. Sertan laying out. Front of Worthy getting the pass break up. Forcing the incompletion. And they're going to punt. It's Rice on the return up to 39. Gain of three. It's so stupid. What am I doing? Pick six. Jaden Hicks. So I'm thinking Hicks is going up with Rhodes, right? It's going up. I'll have Mims wide open underneath. Because Rhodes is running into Mims's receiver here. And then he just pulls a full 180, takes the ball. I don't think I had anybody else open. Maybe Dulcich right there, but that's going up into double coverage. I had nothing else. Should have just taken a sack. Thirty-one seventeen. Gain a two for Hayden on the ground. It's a Dulcich good toe tapping or tiptoeing on the sideline. Up to the forty seven. Did we get like the same four? In plays, bro. Another screen out to Hayden. Cut it back inside, taken down at the forty nine. Go screen again. Seems to be the only thing that's working. Up to the 40. Go ahead and end around here with Mims. And a nice little gain of nine. Trying to get Javante Williams involved. 
Uh, let's see. I don't know if we're going to pick this up. Nope. Fucking throw the fucking ball. Karloft is back there getting the sack on us. That's the game, boys. I... There's physically nothing I can fucking do. Big hit, I'm worthy. We'll go aggressive on everything. End of the third quarter. Nine minutes left. KC up by 14. I'm straight with the pass breakup. Almost picked off. <laughs> Come on, bro. Give me that. Uh, Hollywood with a miracle of a catch. I don't even know if Baron Browning's got his tackle for losses today. I forgot that that was even a goal that we needed. Clark needs to jump there. I'm checking his stats quick. He's got one. One TFL. Just needs two more. That's all he needs. All right. Let's settle past the dulcich there. Game of six. Overthrown for Rhodes. I got nothing, dude. Brian Cook, pick six. Screen out to Hayden. I'm tired of losing, man. Come on. Jesus Christ. Third and ten. Dulcich can't come down with it.
Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Whatever. Not the guy I wanted to get the TFL, bro. I don't care about Barno. I need Browning to get his three TFLs. He literally just needs two more. At this point, that's the only thing I care about. Aiden gain a 10 on the screen. Dulcich, nice little gain a 9. We did so good not throwing any picks the last couple games. And we have true today. Nothing open, taking off with Nick, getting a lot of space, running out of bounds at the 36. Just under three minutes left here. Pass to Franklin, good. Going out of bounds at the 17. Little low pass for Hayden. Gets it, turns it upfield within uh, the 10 yard line. Down at the 7. Little overthrown for Mims. Fourth and goal. I'm gonna go for it, of course. Probably dual your roads, I'd imagine. It's for roads diving, getting the touchdown. Second one today. Twenty-four forty. All right, boys. Two TFLs for Browning. Does that count? I don't think so. Oh, it did. Okay. Oh, come on. It was there. Oh, it was there. There we go. I want to say it's our third one with Browning. Thank God. 
He's a superstar now, at least. Don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. Yeah, we're using our timeouts, dude. I don't care. 48-24 is your final here in Mile High. Hopefully have an easy game next week against the Commanders. And after that, we're taking on the Chiefs again. So hopefully we can get something turned around there. A couple upgrades going on here. Chris A. Strain will have one of them. We'll go slot on him. That will bring him up to a 90 overall. Greg Dulcich with one. Good vertical threat, get him up to an 87. And the rookie, J.R. Forden. Getting one as well. Um, I kind of want to get his speed rusher up. Finally, we get the good news. I mean, we did choose the easy one for Baron Browning, but he needed it. So he is going to become a superstar. Plus two play rec to all of our linebackers next game. So hopefully we can cancel out this four game losing streak and take on the commanders as we go right back at home at mile high and then of course next week take it on the chiefs again there is your playoff picture that win puts the chiefs in at the two seed and that's going to put us to the bottom of the afc west tied with las vegas and los angeles uh, at five and seven, so yeah, I don't know. I can't remember if we played them already this year or not. Did play Los Angeles, beat them. Haven't played Las Vegas yet. We do play them the second to last week of the season, so that might be a tiebreaker game, depending upon how these last couple games go. So kind of need to win out if we want to make playoffs, but. Yeah, we'll see if we can do that next week against the Commanders, who are also 5-7, and seven, but we do have a little bit of a boost on overall than them. But I'll see you in that video. Until then, stay cool. Peace.